beautiful people i know it's been a hot minute but i'm back with another video nonetheless and today i just want to talk about the what how and why and this is something that as i'm learning like i said as i'm learning my craft i realize no matter what you're doing especially if you're creating there has to be a what how and why you know what i mean like what you're doing what are like simply when you go on instagram or you go on tiktok or whatever you're posting on what is it that you're posting what is your niche you know what I mean? What are you known for? And your how, obviously, is how you're doing this. You know, how do you go out and take photos? How do you go take videography? How do you record music? Whatever art craft it is, how are you doing it? And teach people how you're doing it. People either want to be entertained or they want to be informed. So how are you doing this? You know what I mean? So I'm trying to come with a mixture of here's my content and what I'm doing, but this is how I'm doing it. You see what I'm saying? The why is what makes you unique and why you even have like what your niche is your why is is what gives you the motivation to create whatever you're creating you see what i'm saying um this is what separates everyone from everyone you know what i mean you have a lot of creators that that will copy somebody and, and are or, or heavily influenced by whoever it may be but your why should always be unique to you as a person in your and it should show in your work you know what i mean so the first thing we're gonna get into is the what for me personally um the what for me is obviously photography and videography it was music but now it's just photography and videography and i'm struggling with this idea of like what i really want to do more and what i want to like put a lot of my attention into maybe um maybe that's influenced by what is uh more profitable for me right now because obviously we all want we all have a passion and and love to do something but what's the point of doing it if we can't make a career out of it or if we're not trying to make a career out of it you know what i mean so for me my what is photography and videography and it's very fun to me to just even have a new hobby and and learning again something and getting better every day at something that's the what that's what i'm trying to put out there is just can i give you the best photo or the best video that you've seen in a minute or something that would just make you stop scrolling past you know what i mean i'm really just trying to capture the attention of people through how i view the world and how i want things to be the how so for me, if I want to get into photography, I'll just break down, you know, my setup and, and how I guess I guess what I'm using. So I have a Canon 90D, which is a DSLR, a mirrored camera. Old school, not old school, like the camera's new, but most people are switching to mirrorless cameras because they can just they're gonna be able to do way more than what a mirrored camera can do. But for me personally, one, I don't have the funds right now to get a new camera. And two, this camera is actually super clear. It has 48 megapixels. So my images are very clear and the lens I have is a Sigma. So extra clear, you know what I mean? It's thick glass uh, Sigma is my personal favorite lenses. Just their whole thing is they have the thickest glass to me that just makes something look so smooth. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I have a Canon 90D DSLR. Uh, my lens on it is a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter. The camera is a crop sensor. So that means my 18 to 35 is really somewhere along the lines of like 30 millimeters or 35 millimeters to like uh, 60 or 70, right? And to me, this is fine because the way I like to shoot is a true like 35. So if I keep it at 18 to 20 millimeters, you know, you can get around what a 35 millimeter will look like, which is what a lot of films are shot in. And I really only change, you know, the focal length when I'm doing video. When I'm doing photography, it really just stays at 18 so I can get the as much as I want. Because with my photography, I love to have natural sunlight and and natural backgrounds and kind of you know bring my subject out of the background but still make the background feel so vibrant with its colors and how i color grade and how i change different colors and stuff like that so to me i've always enjoyed the natural side of photography and lighting and how how the sun just shines naturally on the world and being able to capture that in such a, a vibrant way rather than like studio lights and and artificial lighting and stuff like that you know what i mean it's fine and there is a huge skill gap and a huge learning curve to doing actual lighting and stuff like that and it obviously gets expensive and so the way i create is just what i'm capable of doing whether that's financial or just my knowledge of photography as of right now uh sunlight natural sunlight is way more convenient for me but i also enjoy it as a photographer and a videographer i love to just record in the natural sunlight and just you know position things the right way to make uh something glow or to uh make make a part of somebody's features pop out you know what i mean so that's how 
I create using certain elements of when I go into like Lightroom and post, say I take this picture and the sky looks like this or the picture may be too bright or too dark, depending on whichever way I take it, how I'm doing it as well is, is bringing a, a tone and emotion to my pictures. And that depends on the colors. Like if I go black and white, I really want you to see um, the picture for what it is of, uh, of just the person or whatever it may be when you take black and white or when you do just a black and white picture, really your subject has to be uh, lit in a certain way and you're trying to really point out features of them. Whereas if you do color and there's a lot of different color going on, um, it to me it can represent just like more the more happy side of somebody or really trying to take the beauty that they have and put it on screen and, and being able to just portray someone's beauty with a lot of different colors and what colors also complement somebody, whether it's their skin color and how the colors I'm using are complementing that or what clothes they have on. I love to just mess around and, and, and play with it all. So because if you've seen my photography, you re you know that all I really do is portraits of really one person. I, I rarely do more than just one person. I'm trying to get into doing more than one people. Obviously, you know what I mean? The bag is a little bigger when you do more than one person but for the most part um yeah i just do portraits of one person i like to make it feel uh vintage like it was shot on film and uh i think film has such rich colors you know what i mean so i use a i use a preset um in lightroom i use a preset in lightroom that's a kodak 200 which to me um the natural film in itself is a little darker but i love to up the vibrance of it and that's just the beauty of technology nowadays especially with lightroom is being able to transform your pictures into really anything you want it and you can take it into photoshop and do photo manipulation and now there's ai with stuff to where you can literally change your photos so so dope um but you still want to keep the 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 artistic side of it without too much help and a lot like i always say like you can do anything in post but like really the magic happens on the day of the shoot and what you're actually shooting Color grading and all that is really meant to just help the picture. But if the picture sucks off front or off rip, there's no point in even doing the color grade. You know what I mean? I just did a, a wedding shoot that didn't go my way because I, I just wasn't informed as much. And it was just like a, it's a huge learning curve for me. You know what I mean? Good experience, but I wasn't proud of the pictures how I thought I was going to be. Um, and that's just part of that's just part of it all. You know what I mean? I'm real with y'all. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not perfect. You know, when I made music, a lot of my songs weren't perfect. So like, I'm somebody that's just always trying to expand my knowledge on whatever I'm interested in. I think that's the beauty of art and diving into different art forms and photography and videography are so very different, similar, but very different. Um, and, I, and I'm starting to really enjoy the difference between the two. We can get into the why, the why I do really anything uh, creative. Um, you mean you heard it multiple times in, in my videos to me, just why I do anything is just me being able to express what's in my mind. Like I dream a lot. I have a lot of, I just, my mind's always going. And if I have nowhere to, to put these thoughts, like, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what happened with me, but I need to get this out. If I have an idea, like, Oh my goodness, I want to, I want to shoot this shot. I'm going to find any way to go shoot the shot. And maybe sometimes I come back and it's not what I thought, but it's all about the experience and growing your knowledge and, and just trying, uh, testing your skill set really. My why is really wanting to express myself in how I view the world. You know what I mean? With my photography, I really love the idea of capturing someone's beauty and elevating it or highlighting someone's beauty in certain areas. Um, I think that's dope. And I think um, with my shoots, they have deeper meanings to them. And I don't really come up with them beforehand, but more so after. If I look at all these photos and like, what are these photos saying to me? Um, one of my photos of my friend X, these photos are the, the, the collection is called, um, the masculinity of gentleness, which I think is such a dope title. And for me to know X as a person and really dive into who he is as a person and then take these photos and how he likes to pose and all this stuff. It's it, like he, when he poses, it's way more, more masculine. And he has like this tough look, but I know X as a gentle person and a caring person. So it's almost as like, what are these photos saying to me? Um, and if you look at the photos, you can really, you know, decide what I'm trying to say through them. They're not that deep. Uh, portraits aren't that deep. And I'm trying to get into more meaningful things that I want to do with my photography to when you look at this picture, what am I actually trying to say? But with all the art 
in general and all the things that I am putting out, there is something to say about all of it. Um, whether it's, you know, if you just want to enjoy the pictures or videos for what they are and how they look, um, that's the cinematography of it. And, and me just going, no matter what I make, it has to be at least beautiful. Even if the story doesn't make sense or the sound or the music I choose doesn't make sense, what you're looking at is is beautiful and dope. And I think that's what a lot of people um, forget to focus on. Even in music, no matter what I was writing, I knew the song had to sound good before I did anything else. That's why you got uh, artists out now that don't have to really say anything meaningful, but the music sounds good and, and it's sonically pleasing. And that's what people are focused on. They just want to, uh, they want to feel good. They want to, they want to, have something that elevates maybe how they think or how they consume something. As far as videography, for me, I really want to capture emotions and tones. And I am a writer and I do love to write stories and stuff. But just like um, before I made music, I was writing for years. And when I started making music, I had to like relearn how to write. So that's how I am with film right now is I wrote stories and mini stories and all this stuff. But when you go into filming and learning how to storyboard and and do things like that it's way different and way more difficult as of right now so right now i'm really enjoying the cinematography of it all and just learning how to how to do dope shots in lighting and and just be a little more creative um that's why i'm so indulged in this in videography right now and now that i have an nd filter shout out to nd filter to where i can go outside and control the intensity of light coming into my camera um now i can go do and be free with whatever i want to shoot before that um, I have a 1.8 Sigma lens, so like, I did. I, the camera or the the lens is super dope by itself, but going outside, it's very hard to use because it takes in so much light at 1.8, and 1.8 is what you're what you bought the lens for. And that's something that gives you the cinematic look and, and gives you that high depth of field. So, for me, I didn't know that just being a rookie at this, and whenever I try to go outside, you know, I have to boost my aperture to 5.6 or up, which takes the cinematic look out of it because it's putting more things in focus right so now that i can do an nd filter and be at 1.8 and do whatever i want oh my goodness i'm about to have so much fun it's about to be ridiculous so again with this video i really just wanted to let you guys know um what you need whenever you're creating as i'm learning i like to share so the what how and why you need to learn these three things especially if you're posting content and learn what you're posting what your niche is Learn how you like to do something or how you want to do something and inform people on how you're doing it. So maybe you could teach somebody and why, why do you do this? What separates you from anybody else? Why is, what is your story behind whatever you're creating? We want to know this, right? We're in a very curious, um, age. I think we're in a very curious time and people are, are curious and want to learn. TikTok is all about learning. I have a lot of informational videos. So like be able to teach and be able to entertain That's what people want to do. They want to be entertained. Or they want to be taught so learn how to do both and grow and be genuine with your craft and your art and put out good uh content don't just put out content to put out content but really enjoy it so it's your boy Kyrie doty with another video y'all can like subscribe share comment do whatever you want as long as you enjoy the art and enjoy the process i'm gonna be okay with it i'll see you on the next one baby